Number 12, state which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. Okay, and then we have letter E out of the bunch, so we need to just find out if HSO4- is amphiprotic. This sometimes is called amphoteric, so your teacher or professor might use that word instead, but it is basically the same thing. If you're a amphiprotic or an amphoteric species, you can act as an acid and a base. So you got both properties. Just depends on the certain situation that you're in. Now, how do we know that something can act as an acid? Well, by definition, remember bronsted lowry acids, they lose one hydrogen, right? In the form of hydronium, H+. They donate it to the base in the solution. So if you're going to lose a hydrogen, that means that you got a hydrogen to lose. So clearly there's an H here, right? And any time that you see an H in the front of a molecule, it's going to act as an acid. So we have this component checked. Now we just got to make sure that it can act as a base. Now remember, by definition, bases, they're going to gain the, hy the hydrogen, right? Or the hydronium from a certain acid in solution. But now how do we check for that? Well, we check by the charges. If you're either a negative or a neutral charge, you're going to be able to act as a base. The negative just means that you have more bonds that you can make. You can gain hydrogens. So this is a definite. If you see that you're a negative charge, it's going to mean that you are basic. There are exceptions for neutral compounds, but in this case, since I do see a negative, it can definitely act as a base. And now we have both of them checked. So HSO4 minus is amphiprotic or amphoteric. Now we just have to write the chemical equations. So there's gonna be two equations that we have to write. One in which HSO4 is acting as the acid and one in which is acting as the base. So I'll start over here. HSO4 minus and then we'll say HSO4 minus. Okay. So they have to be plus something else, right? And one HSO4 minus is gonna be acting as the acid and the other one is gonna be acting as the base. Now remember, with acid-base chemical equations, you can't have two acids on the same side and you can't have two bases. If you have an acid, you have to react that with the base. And then vice versa, if you have a base already, you need to act that with an acid. Now here's where the difference in all of our answers are going to come because there's just so many different bases that we can choose and there's so many different acids that we can choose. So in this case, um, let's pick a base. Now I want to just make sure that I, I pick a base that is clearly basic, that has no hydrogens. Um, so there's a couple of them. Uh, we can do like CN minus. We could also do S2 minus. These don't have any uh, hydrogens. So to not like try to trick us up. Um, we could also choose OH minus. Even though there is a hydrogen here, OH minus is the clear indication of a base. It's hydroxide and, and hydroxides are always basic. So we could even choose that. So let's go with that one. Acids, on the other hand, if you want to stick with an easy one, you just got to pick one of your six strong acids that we know and love, right? So it could have been HCl, could be HBr, could be, oops, HBr, could be HI, could be HNO3, could be HClO4. I just won't choose H2SO4 because there's two hydrogens here. That might get a little tricky, but any of those would work. Um... Let's go with HI. Hi. Okay, that's one of my six strong acids. So now let's just write the equations. So now this is where your conjugates come into play. Now remember, if you are an acid on your left side, you're going to lose that hydrogen. And because you lost that hydrogen, you will now turn into your conjugate base. So the acid will always turn into the conjugate base on the other side. And then vice versa, 
if you are a base, since you're going to be gaining that hydrogen, you're going to be the conjugate acid or turn into the conjugate acid. So now let's just work on the top equation. How do I go from an acid to its conjugate base? Well, that's what I wrote down here. Acid to its conjugate base, you always lose that hydrogen. And because of that, you subtract one from your overall charge. So HSO4 minus, there was only one hydrogen to lose, so that's going bye-bye. So just write everything else that comes along. It's just SO4. Now just correct your charge. This was a negative one charge, so I say, okay, it was negative one, but I lost a hydrogen, so minus one. Negative one minus one is negative two. Now you just gotta do the same thing. Base turns into conjugate acid. If you're starting with the base, you're gaining the hydrogen, and because of that, you plus one to your total charge. So here I had OH, I had one hydrogen. So now if I'm gaining the hydrogen, I have two. So I could say this as OH2, but that's kind of weird. But if I just move this oxygen over here, oh, it turns into water. Interesting. And then just, you know, correct your charge. It was a negative one charge. You're gaining a hydrogen, so plus one. Negative one plus one is neutral, and water is always neutral. Now we just have to do the same thing for the bottom one. So remember, bases gain a hydrogen, so they turn into their conjugate acids. And then on the flip side, the acid, since it loses the hydrogen, that turns into the conjugate base. Okay, so now let's figure it out. Base turns into the conjugate acid. That means you gain a hydrogen. So you had one, but now you'll have two, H2. All the other elements come along for the ride, so SO4. And we have a negative charge here. So that's a negative one. So negative one plus one is zero. So there you go with that one. And now we have HI, that's an acid, right? Turning into the conjugate base. So that would be just I, right? Because you dropped that hydrogen. It was a zero charge. Zero minus one would be a negative. And there you go. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. This is all we had to do. Just show the two equations to show how it's acting as both an acid or a base. And remember, these could change, all right? So thank you so much. I really hope this helped. Let me know, and I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.